guys welcome back to a new video and if you guys are new here I just kind of wanted to introduce myself my name is Sabrina and I make mostly lifestyle vlogs with some book content I just have like a whole bunch of hobbies that I do and like to share with you guys so if you guys are interested and I would love if you would subscribe but today in this vlog we're gonna start off this morning going to the bookstore because I really want to make it a goal for this weekend to decorate my book cart this is my book cart right now and it's just been a kind of placeholder for just a bunch of junk that I did not know where to put when we moved it's just like a lot of stuff that I need to figure out and find a place for. It's kind of an eyesore. What better way to decorate a book cart than to adding more books to it? So we are gonna go to the bookstore today. I plan on getting one book for sure if they have it, hopefully. I am gonna go to this local bookstore in my neighborhood and we're gonna go walk there because it's only about like a 20 minute walk. That is the plan for today, so I'm really excited. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready. pretty chilly today so no cute outfit just a big jacket for both of us are we matching <laughs> come on bro Hey guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's a lot later in the day and I haven't done anything. Lacey's on my lap. But we got home around noonish, and we were just chilling. Nigel left to go to his friend's house to go watch the WWE game or match, whatever it's called. I'm not into that, so I don't really know, but... Yeah, so it is now like 5 o'clock and now finally getting up and starting to do stuff. <laughs> I've been watching this movie. Let me know if you guys remember this movie because it's kind of... Old. I'm watching Seventeen again. It has Tia and Tamir Mowry. Yeah, I saw like a random TikTok on it today and I was like, oh my gosh, I remember that movie. I used to love that movie. It's free on Amazon Prime. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to watch this real quick because this is very nostalgic for me. Even if you haven't watched it before, I would recommend it. It's a really, really good movie. I think before I start working on my book cart, I'm going to go ahead and make myself some dinner because I'm pretty hungry if Lacey would get off of me. <laughs> so we went to Costco yesterday and we got a box of the Goodles mac and cheese and we really like this one or this brand. The only thing is I don't have any milk in our fridge and it does call for a fourth cup of milk. So I don't know. I'm gonna try it with just water and see how it is because I do want to use this because we have some leftover broccoli that I want to mix in. I'm sorry the camera is crooked. But yeah, I'm gonna make this just a quick, easy dinner. So the first thing that I want to add to my book card is this. And this is a Lego set. My sister actually got this for me and Nigel for 
uh, Christmas last year and we just haven't done it. But I think this would be really pretty on my book cart. I would do like real flowers, but that would cost a lot of money every week. So <laughs> I thought this Lego one would be really perfect. And me and Nigel usually do Legos together, but he is not here. So I think I'm just gonna get started on this. And then if I can't finish it today, then I'll have to continue on tomorrow. And then maybe Nigel can help me then. Yeah, there's only four bags. So we'll see how this goes. our breakfast spread for this morning. I got protein pancakes with strawberry and mango and then some bacon and blueberries. We went to Trader Joe's and bought these buttermilk protein pancake mix because we wanted to finally try the maple syrup that Michael got at Canada a couple <laughs> weeks like back. A <laughs> I'm also wearing the same outfit as yesterday so don't mind me. I mean, I guess I can, it kind of tastes like very smooth and like yeah, clean. Yeah, like smooth, yeah. But it's not very sweet. Try it with the bacon. Oh yeah, good with bacon. Mm -hmm. The bacon is good. So I'm finally gonna go ahead and start decorating my book cart. It's all emptied out. so far with the book cart. That's a big stretch. <laughs> I'll give you guys a little tour. So on this first shelf, I have my Lego flowers. I have all of my bookmarks in here, my tabs. These are all like bookish stickers. The highlighters I use to highlight my books. This is a candle that my mom made. If you guys didn't know, she has her own business. You know, I thought this one was really fitting. It's called Nose in a Book. And then I have a little pom-pom and then these flower um, hair clips. And then I might change these two because I'm not sure. I wasn't really sure how to decorate these parts because usually it looks a lot better when it's like filled completely with books. But since I have bookshelves now and I have a lot of other extra space on the bookshelves, I feel like I don't have too much to put in the cart. But I chose to put my TBR or like books that I really want to read this month or in the next couple of months in this shelf. And then I added my little Stitch and Angel plush. Hello. On the bottom is where I'm going to keep books that I've recently bought or books that I want to put in a video, things like that. And then I keep my little book sleeves or covers that I get from Fairy Loot in here. I don't know, I just keep them because I feel like they'll come in handy sometimes. For traveling. Also, if you guys are wondering what books I bought at the bookstore, I had gotten this book, which I'll, oh, just fell. Um, it's called Otherworldly by F.T. Lukens. I got it because the cover is really pretty. Let me see, what are you doing? I believe it's a YA fantasy romance. And then I got Abby Jimenez just for this summer. I love her books and I'm really excited for this one. I heard really good things about it. And then, of course, I have my other books that you saw in my haul from my previous vlog. So that is everything. If you guys have any tips or ideas for me on how to further decorate this, then let me know. Look at this clingy girl. You're so clingy, huh? 
And look at those eyes. Look at those eyes just staring into my soul. <laughs> I'm just gonna be making this octopus fried rice that we got from Costco. I went to Costco uh, two days ago and they didn't have these anymore, so I'm not sure if they're out of stock or if they're gonna come back, but it's really good. It's just a little bit spicy. I like to mix it with my cauliflower rice to make it a little bit less spicy. I'm just gonna make this for dinner. finish the book that I've been reading on my Kindle. I wanted to tell you guys about it to get a reading update, I guess. This is called Ask Andrea by Noelle West Westerly. It's a thriller. I'm about 65% in. I'm gonna try to finish this book tonight. Um, basically, it's about this serial killer. He kills three girls and we get three of their point of views from after they die. So it's kind of like a paranormal th thriller because they're pretty much like ghost or whatever. Oh my gosh, I look so oily. Um, but it pretty much follows the three girls that were killed by him. We kind of go through the story and see how these girls kind of connect. They pretty much like follow him around and see how his life is. There are some like disturbing parts just because it talks about like like their deaths and stuff. I would definitely look up the trigger warnings before reading this. But it is pretty interesting and it's pretty fast paced so that's why I am enjoying it. It's getting really good so far so I'm really excited to see how the book ends. I totally forgot I had um, folded some clean laundry and I feel like it was in some of the shots um, or clips that I got so please don't mind that. I know that looks kind of bad but anyways I did finish um, Ask Andrea last night and I think after sleeping on it I would give the final reading a 3.75 which seems to be the theme for the last couple of books that I've been reading. Everything's just been like a 3.75. So Without giving you guys any spoilers or anything, it definitely was not a thriller in my opinion. It's more of a crime mystery story, which is totally fine. I still enjoy those kind of um, books or stories. The ending did not surprise me at all. Um, I feel like in a lot of like the thrillers and mysteries that I read, I do really enjoy when there is like a, a plot twist or some sort in the book because it just makes the book more interesting and more fun. There was not really any plot twist in this book. I can kind of think of maybe one thing, but still it wasn't very much of a plot twist, kind of just like a oh wow moment, I guess. Having three different point of views was a little bit confusing at first. I kept forgetting each of the girls' backstory and how they were killed and stuff. I kept getting everything confused because everything was just intertwined and it was a little bit confusing at first. And that whole paranormal aspect of the book was kind of unrealistic in my opinion so I think that's why I didn't really enjoy it as much. It still was a really good book, it was very fast paced and it kept me wanting to read more and more so I still recommend it to any of you guys who want like a like a good palette cleanser which is pretty much why I chose to read this book because I thought it would be a really good palette cleanser in between reading like a lot of romances in a row. 
and it definitely did that for me so I do recommend it I did enjoy it overall um, is it one of my favorite books or favorite thrillers or mysteries I've ever read definitely not but like I said if you are looking for a good palette cleanser or something that's very fast paced and a page turner then I would definitely recommend it so I kind of just wanted to end this video with telling you guys what book I'm reading next. So after I finished Ask Andrea, I decided to get Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli on my Kindle. This I didn't know too much about going into. All I know is that it's a fantasy romance. It's pretty new. I think it only came out like a couple weeks ago or maybe like a month or two ago. It is about a witch and a witch hunter and it's enemies to lovers so that's pretty much all i know about the book and just that alone made me really want to read it um, i've heard a lot of really good reviews on it and i can't find it in any bookstore because it's sold out everywhere i only pretty much get it online right now i think but that's why i got it on my kindle so i started that i'm only on page 11 so i didn't get too far Obviously nothing really is happening right now. I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And if you guys didn't know, I do have a bookstagram booked with Brina, which you can find the link in the description box. So if you want to be up to date on what books I'm reading and stuff like that, then you can find me on there. But either way, I will be talking about books and all of my future reads in my videos just because it's something that I really love talking about and really want to include more in my videos. So I will keep you guys up to date with that. So that concludes the vlog for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to like this video and leave a comment down below. I would very much appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.